Hello everyone. This is Arun Franklin and welcome to my YouTube channel PharmaZeneca. In this video I am going to tell you about the use of the inspection procedure and the different types of forms issued by the US FDA. US FDA company or FDA approved pharma company. When we can say a company is FDA approved it shows the american government has declared the api or medicine is safe and it can be sold imported or used in the united states so if a company is said a fda approved company those company can manufacture and sell the drugs or market the pharmaceutical products in the united states of america let me tell you about what is the reason behind the FDA inspection or the FDA audit. Say if a company is said to be a FDA approved company, so those companies will market their um, pharmaceutical medicines across the United States of America and the FDA wants to inspect the manufacturing facility as either for a scheduled routine audits or for a survey or whenever in the United States of America, the FDA got any complaint or the problems for the products, the FDA will definitely come for an audit or inspection of the facility and the procedures. Now let me tell you about the FDA inspection process for the pharmaceutical companies. So whenever the FDA wants to inspect the pharmaceutical facilities, upon uh, arriving at, your, at, at the facility, they will issue Form 482 to the pharmaceutical company. So Form 482 is called as the Notice of Inspection. So with the notice, they will start inspecting the facilities. The FDA auditors will inspect for the six systems in the pharmaceutical uh, industry which is the quality system, the production system, the facilities and equipment system, the laboratory control system, the material system and the packaging and labeling systems. So they will inspect all the six systems and if at all FDA auditor found any issues with the six systems then they will issue the form 483 that is called the inspectional observations so with the form 483 they will issue and they will return to uh, their own uh, own country so once they will the pharmaceutical company receives form 483 they have to respond to the form 483 within 15 working days so with the response if the FDA is satisfied they will provide the EIR which is called the establishment inspection report so if if at all they will not satisfied they will issue the warning letter so once the warning letter is received uh, by the pharmaceutical companies a great warning that uh, they cannot going to uh, receive or they can't market their pharmaceutical products in the US. So once the warning letter has been received by the pharmaceutical company, they have to respond within 15 days. So once the FDA receives the response for the warning letter, the FDA schedules a follow-up inspection for roughly around 30 days after it receives the warning letter response. So FDA will review this response of for warning letter and if they if they will satisfy with this response they will issue the EIR that is establishment inspection report to the pharma company if at all they will not satisfied means they will issue the import alert what is import alert the import alert meant informs the FDA's field staff and the public that the agency has enough evidence to allow for detention without physical examination of products that appear to be in violation of FDA's laws and regulations. That is, the FDA will not allow the products manufactured by the company which has been issued the import alert into the United States of America that means your company cannot export or market your products in the United States hope you guys understand this uh, the for procedure or the process of uh, FDA inspection procedure 
so there are three types of forms will be issued by the fda so in which uh, two of the forms i have discussed already that is uh, fda form 482 which is called the notice of inspection so which has been issued by the fda to the pharmaceutical company upon arriving at the pharmaceutical manufacturing facility for investigation and for audit and second one is the form 483 which is the inspection observation so whenever the auditors observed any issues or the observations they will issue the form 483 to the pharmaceutical company and there is one more a form which is called fda form 484 which is the receipt of samples so this form will be issued at the end of the inspection describing any samples obtained during the inspection by the auditors to the pharmaceutical company so there are three types of forms issued during the fda inspection by the fda inspectors to the pharmaceutical company thanks for watching this video if you like this video please press the bell icon share with your friends and colleagues and please don't forget to subscribe this channel pharma zeneca